Hey, this is the CND channel. I'm Chris, and this is MMA for you. Uh, I'm going to be doing my predictions for Titan FC uh, 19. It's going to happen uh, July 29th on HDNet. So uh, let's get right to it. There's like seven fights here. Um, a lot of these guys are uh, have less than ten fights, so it's a it, you know it's really it, some of these are definitely going to just be a pick 'em. Uh, First uh, fight tonight, we have Anthony Gutierrez versus Cody Land. Um, Cody Land will be fighting for the first time in uh, Titan FC. Uh, Anthony Gutierrez has fought twice uh, for them, and he even won his last fight by a triangle choke. Uh, I'll, I'll go with Anthony Gutierrez to win this one. Next fight after that, we have uh, two fighters making their pro debut uh, at heavyweight. We have uh, Daniel Gallimore versus Alex Hodelston. I don't know anything about Gallimore to be perfectly honest I do know with Huddleston he trains with uh, First Blood MMA with uh, fighters like Jose Vega who fights in uh, Bellator I'll go with Alex Huddleston to win this one then uh, next fight after that we have Nick Nolte not the actor um, versus Marcio Navarro uh, Nick Nolte uh, his last fight was against Phil Baroni D hasn't had a lot of fights he's like he has a 3-3 record um, Marcia Navarro has like an 8-5 and five record and he, he's coming off a win over uh, Sal Woods um, it's tough for me to call I'll, but I'll go with uh, the guy coming off the win uh, Marcia Navarro next fight after that we have Joe Wilk versus uh, William D'Souza William D'Souza and he has, he has the same record as Nick Nolte he has like 3 wins and 3 losses um, versus uh, Joe Wilk who um, who has uh, like triple the amount of fights he has? Um, he has a better record and much more experience. So I'll go with uh, Joe Wilk to win that one. Next fight after that we have Rob Kimmins, who is a veteran of uh, the UFC versus uh, Brendan Sagan. Um, record wise, um, Kimmins has a better record. He doesn't have as many losses, but he has just as many wins. He is coming off a two-fight losing streak uh, in the UFC against Donnie Yang and um, uh, Jorge Rivera. Um, the guys he's beaten in the UFC are like Joe Vetebo, Steve Steinbeis. So it's not like he, even though he's from the UFC, it's not like he, he's always been like an undercard guy. Uh, Brendan again, uh, that guy has a lot of wins by TKO and KO. Um, he's actually on a four fight winning streak uh, and, and he's fought really good guys he's fought Martin Campman, Jake Allenberger I mean he's lost against a lot of these guys he has beaten like uh, Bobby Volker who's coming off a win over uh, Roger Bowling um, it's, it, this one's actually hard for me to say it's, it's really easy for me to pick the guy coming from the UFC you know it's like oh he found the UFC he'll probably win this one yeah, but it's really not as simple as that, I think. I'll go Brendan Sagan actually to win this one. Four fight winning streak. He's fought just as tough, if not tougher, uh, competition than Kimmins. Um, so yeah, I'll go with him uh, to win this one. Yeah, next fight after that, we have Tanya Evinger versus Sarah McMahon. Um, Tanya Evinger, she's coming off a loss. Uh, she's fought some tough uh, female talent out there. She's actually coming off a lot of Alexis Davis. Uh, Sarah McMahon, though, I mean, this girl, Olympic silver medalist in wrestling. I mean, she's only fought uh, women with um, losing records. But, I mean, I saw a fight with her. I mean, she grabbed a single, took the girl down, got the submission. I mean, it was so quick. Uh, you know, she's obviously still learning. I, I you know, um... She's still really green with MMA, um, but with wrestling like that, I mean, I just can't see Evinger stuffing takedowns or getting the strikes in before McMahon can take her down. It, you just got to go with Sarah McMahon. Uh, Evinger does have a lot of experience, though, um, so that's a plus, but with that type of pedigree, you know, I just, you know, years and years of wrestling. Just got to go with uh, Sarah McMahon to win this one. 
Okay, and the main event of the night, because uh, Bobby Lash Lashley pulled out of his fight against Eddie Sanchez, we got James Krause versus um, Clay French. Uh, Clay French, he, I mean, he fights out of hit squad. Um, he's fought in pride against like, Shinya Yoki, Sengoku, and uh, King the Cage. He's coming off a two-fight win streak. Um, James Krause, he, you know, he, he, he's actually a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner with uh, nine wins by submission. And he's only lost to some really good fighters in um, Toby Amada, uh, Donald Cerrone, and Ricardo Lamas. Um, because of that, I'm, I'm going to go with uh, James Kraus to win this one. Um, it, it's tough to say, though, when you, when you uh, train with, like, Hit Squad, you're, um, you're training with guys like Matt Hughes. Um, I know, like, Matt Veach trains out of there, Robbie Lawler. Uh, so there's some good guys um, out of Hit Squad, and, you know, if Kraus is thinking takedown, French might be able to, um, you know, keep the fight standing. So it, or he might not. You, you know, you never know. Um, but yeah, it's really hard for me to say. But yeah, I'll go with uh, James Cross to win this one. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my uh, Titan FC on uh, 19 predictions. Um, if you have any comments, leave them below. And yeah, that's it for MMA for you. Thank you very much.